Hey, welcome back! So today we're going to do some configuration. We're going to try to set up an access point as a rooted access point. Okay, we're using... Once again, the MicroTik as you can see on the screen. So MicroTik root OS. I'm going to log myself in, admin. There is no password on the default configuration. First thing, set up an IP address. So IP address add address. 192.168.2.9 slash 24 which interface that's going to be the one connected to my switch Ethernet 4 so from now on I should be able to manage it uh, from uh, the GUI so first thing uh, we need to log ourselves into the 192.168.2.9 all right I put my IP address here I want there you go. If the first time you see it, you just need to click under Winbox and download this program. So just click there. Off you go. Save us. Well, I don't need to because I already done it. And it's right here. Okay. IP address. That's the one. Admin. That's the login. Password, as I said. It's no password. Okay. A few steps to follow first. So let's start by the top. Interfaces. That's our wireless card. Double click on it. We're going to set it up the mode as an access point. Okay. Apply it. Still great. So let's enable it. Very well. Next one will be to set up IP address. You can see that's only one on my Ethernet card. I'm going to add another one. So it's 10.10. .10 50.1 slash 24 which interface this time the wireless card of course okay good job next IP route good to set up a default or IP route to the gateway my gateway has been 192.168.2.1 okay so that this IP address is the IP address of my um, cable modem Next, so we did IP address, we did the root, let's do the pool. So we're going to create a pool of IP addresses. 10, 10, 50, so that will be the starting point. 10, 10, 50, 20. 18 IP addresses, or 19 IP addresses should be enough. Okay, next, we need to create our DHCP server. It's going to allocate IP addresses dynamically keep the same name don't really matter to me and I'm going to choose the address pool pool one the one I created which interface I'm working on the one okay this interface is enabled that's very good as you can see the bottom right hand side here my wireless card is connected already so if I go back to interface wireless can see some traffic going on quite good if you go to wireless here you will see some registration right here see and that should be my the MAC address of my wireless card okay let's keep cracking on what we're doing so I set up my DHCP server Whoop. one last step here the network so 10 10 50 0 slash 24 okay and a dns server 192.168.2.1 okay so once again my cable modem going to do the job of dns good and last but not least the firewall right here ip firewall i'm going to create a network address translation nat plus so the, the chain is going to be source so every packet with the source IP address going out on the Ethernet 4 are going to be changed we'll call that masquerade okay I guess we're done now let's see if we did receive the right IP address that's good that's right so obviously now we can do the test. I disconnected as you can see at the bottom right inside my cable. 
Let's see if I can have. Let's click on Google. See if it works. There we go. Job done. Excellent. Thank you for watching. Just make sure when you have the time to visit our website, freetelecomuni.co.uk. Take care. Bye bye now. Thank you.